Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? And welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of VR. My name is Lazio SK, and today is a little bit of a special episode because, of course, we're all going through the COVID-19 and the repercussions of it. So I really wanted to find out how you and other people all over around the world were actually dealing with it and how VR would benefit people during a lockdown. So I went into various different applications from VR chat to big screen, old space, and actually interviewed people. I also created a room in big screen, which is called the VR Essentials interview room. And people came in one by one and shared their story with me and shared some feedback that I hope would be useful to you. And also, especially if you're not in VR, then I think this is a great opportunity to find out more about what people have to say. I just want to give a quick thank you to all those who uh, gave their time to me to share that information. Uh, if you're watching, thank you very much and I wish you safe. And uh, okay, let's roll the tape. Let's go. So my first question is, uh, where are you from? I'm from uh, Scotland, a place in Glasgow in Scotland. I'm out here in the States. I'm on the West Coast. I am from Canada. Uh, I'm from Vancouver Island, British Columbia. California. Yeah, I'm from Canada. Um, US. Uh, UK. I'm based in America. England. Um, Devon. I'm in Australia. It's a situation where you are. Is everything closed or are things still open? What was the situation like? Everything here is like locked down. No, no, it is. Yeah, we're all expected to, to self-isolate and do all those sorts of careful things. Yeah, things are mostly locked down over here. Aside from grocery stores, liquor stores and dispensaries. Uh, it just all business, all industry is uh, locked down. So closed down in the middle of that. Mm, most things are closed down. Essential places are open. Everything's closed. We have this layoff and uh, everything's shutting down now. We're closed. Nobody can leave their house. You know what I mean? What What are the benefits that uh, from the apps that you've been using that VR has been bringing you? There's lots of great things about VR. I mean, for like example, with big screen, um, I, like, I, I love watching movies, you know, I'm always, you know, if I'm home, I'm definitely watching a movie. But uh, being able to throw the headset on, I never realized that, you know, you could throw yourself into like a virtual world and actually watch a movie on a big screen. And it feels like you're actually in a room watching it on a huge, giant screen. So it's like really immersive. So just, you know, and watching movies, watching videos. Uh, I've always wanted to go to VR. It's just the, the equipment back then wasn't good enough. School should use VR as, you know, in class, you know. I can't really do this online stuff. It's difficult. Yeah, I get distracted easily. There's a guy that I'm friends with on here too, and he uh, he streams from his computer. And hey, how's it going? What's up, John? He streams from his computer and actually hosts game shows. It, this really everything for everyone. I mean, I have recently with my friends to go to like a sushi restaurant. And it was like this big platypus chef serving us sushi. And I'm like, dang, you can't get that in real life. Like even without the lockdown, you can't get a platypus serving you sushi. Even though I can't eat the sushi, the experience is still there and it still sticks in my mind. For a while I was doing phone calls and Zoom calls, uh, but I wondered if I could go a step further with VR and potentially also uh, feel like I'm in the same room as someone talking to them. The only way I'm going to make it through this is if I have some type of, uh, if I have some type of um, social uh, way for me to still interact. You know, VR is a great way to socialize with people. Well, connecting with people is pretty realistic. You can't express what VR is like unless you basically put the headset on yourself and realize, whoa, I'm not home anymore. And then there's the social aspect too. Like if you're playing VR chat or big screen, you know, you're in a room with a bunch of other people, but it actually feels like they're there, you know, their, their presence, their movements. It's, I, I, I don't know, like I've never tried VR before, but once I've tried it, like the immersion level is just insane. When I'm when I'm having like a deep conversation with somebody, I don't feel like I'm in my room just chilling in my bed. I feel like I'm literally standing on top of this tree having a conversation with someone. You find that during this time VR is helping you to feel more integrated with society and with other people. It would it would take their mind away from a lot of things. When I'm like bored, uh, they could help me like get up and like challenge myself maybe like move a lot with like the new Fitbit thing and Beast Saber. That's funny. It helps you move around a lot. Uh, and stuff like VR chat uh, helps when you like kind of feeling lonely and just want some, some people to hang out with. It, they're very welcoming communities. It's a better experience than just a flat screen. Beat Saber, Fruit Ninja, and I try and like just kind of um, 
I try and move around as much as I can just so that my, I can say that I used my body that day. Uh, so I'll go into something that's a little bit more physically demanding. I, I do 3D modeling, you know, architectural modeling, and, and the idea is to, to be able to put the client into the environment that, that's been designed for them. And it's, it's just a tool to be able to communicate um, intent and, and what the client wants and you know, is this in fact what they want or they're expecting and all that sort of stuff. You're not able to go out and hang out with people, you know, with the social distancing that they're, they put in place. So you get to interact with people and meet new people that, you know, just like if you were hanging out somewhere, you know, in a, in a restaurant or a bar or wherever you get to just meet new people. And I've met people from all over the world. I, I do use it to watch news and stream um, local live newscasts and all of that and um, discuss what's going on in big screen with people and where they're at and on alt space and what's going on where they're living and we share stuff and communicate with my friends that are in different states so yeah not only social connection but the, the illusion that i'm i'm actually going outside or going at least somewhere else that isn't just being in my apartment looking at a screen instead well when you're on your phone you just basically it's like you're looking at a newspaper you're just scrolling down you're not really interacting with nobody unless you send them a message which is kind of like it's kind of hit or miss because if you send that person a message you know it's going to take a while for them to respond but when you're on virtual reality you can just walk up to anybody you know and, and you could just speak to them and in honestly that, that's pretty that's just amazing how you could do that but yeah no when you fist bump people you know slap hands it feels real it's there's stuff for older people this stuff for younger people. Give my, take this time and learn how to uh, use Unity and try to build cool worlds to kind of hang out in like this one. I, I don't use social media, to be honest with you. I don't really like it because it's not social. And virtual reality for me is, is really good social media, and especially during the lockdown, I'm creating good friends. There is platforms such as Big Screen where I can go in and there's people that create music and I go in and listen to them and talk to them and learn new skills and talk to different people. Being able to be with friends that I, like, friends that I can't be with normally. In, like, in VR, like, you know, me and you, I can, you know, you are just an avatar, but I can see your head moving, I can see your hands moving, and it's a lot more personal, like, than just talking to someone, you know, typing on a, uh, on a keyboard. I'm still interacting with real people. One instance that I can recall where I was in a theater watching a virtual movie, and there were, a, a, like a theater, there were seats in front of me, Maybe and I tried screen. to put my actual feet up. I tried to put my actual feet up on the seats in front of me, forgetting that I was in virtual reality. And another time, you know, in VR chat, you know, someone just threw something in my direction, and I ducked. Uh, forgetting once again that I was uh, actually in the, the virtual world. In VR, it does feel a lot more personal. If you learn how to use this, it takes no much more than a smartphone knowledge to use. It's like transferring into a whole other world. So as soon as you put on that headset, you're you're not in the, your reality. You're in a whole different reality, and it's your choice to decide what you want to do with that and how have your friends reacted when you told them that you you know you you've been in vr for all this time at first they're skeptical so what i do when i got my go my oculus go i show them this this app in particular uh off space and they they just was like what is this i go just just interact with anybody they'll they'll talk to you and they're kind of like, nah, this, this is kind of weird, blah, blah, blah. But once they actually talk to somebody and have a conversation, conversation with somebody, they actually start to enjoy it. And which is that, that makes me kind of like, I, I enjoy it too, because it's fun. You know, it's pretty cool. I would say that like the, the level of um, um, how close you can get to like social social interaction with like a real person is it is uh, pretty strikingly close in uh, in VR. Uh, um, I mean, the only thing that's kind of missing is like actual physical contact with people uh, and like 
like physical sensation of like um, of like a- any form of like actually touching anything. But outside of that, it's um, I don't know. It's kind of like being it'd be like being in the hollow deck in Star Trek, but if it was plugged into the internet, it's it's kind of what it, it would be like. So it's pretty close to simulating like. I would say it's close. It's just you can just tell the whole time that it's not real. I like meeting new people. There aren't a lot of new ways to do that right now. Um, since we need to physically isolate and distance ourselves. This is a good, happy uh, middle ground where you know you can still get to meet people physically distance at the same time and feel a little bit more connected than you would on a phone call. Everything going forward to me is probably going to be just, you know, VR. Like, it's such a... I didn't realize how, you know, far along it's actually come till I'm actually in the world here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just want to also give a quick shout out to all those who went to watch previous videos and comment on them. You guys are really awesome too. And I also wish you well. Until next time, do take it easy. Stay safe, wash your hands. And uh, well, let's listen to some good music. DJ, take it away. I think I'll try this a new way. I'm gonna show you the tricks that I know. I'm tired of talking And I need more of a show right now It's time that you made your